This is a webcore laptop I made by reproposing an old gaming laptop I wasn't using anymore. You can see how light it is, how cool it is. Lately, Linux has been getting a bit more attention again, partly thanks to PewDiePie's new video, and it made me want to give it another shot. At first I was thinking about buying a new laptop, mostly because my old gaming one had terrible battery life, like 50 minutes max, and so even just installing Linux on it didn't seem worth it. But then I came up with an idea to dramatically increase the battery life and I'll explain that part later in the video. That's when I decided to reuse it. I also wanted it to have this unique webcore aesthetic, something no one else had really done before. If you check out teaming communities, even on UnixP, I don't want to say the, the whole word for the YouTube video, that subreddit where people share their uh, Linux setups and you'll find a lot of amazing designs, but none of them had this specific style I had in mind, so I had to create it myself. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I built the team, how I managed to extend the battery life, and I'd also be posting my desktop to that subreddit, um, just to see how people react to it. So it all started with PewDiePie's video. Like I said earlier, it made me want to get back into Linux, uh, but I wanted to try it on a laptop first, uh, before messing with my main PC desktop. Mainly because my Windows setup on the desktop had been slowing down a lot lately. I was reinstalling Windows every 7 or 8 months, just to keep it usable, and that's despite having decent hardware. I even wiped my SSD clean every time, uh, but after a while, it just got slow again, and I never fully understood why. So I thought, let me experiment with Linux. You can do so much with a lightweight OS, especially on machines that aren't built for gaming or heavy use. The only laptop I had was this old gaming laptop from Lenovo, the Lenovo IdeaPad. It is a gaming laptop that I basically abandoned. The battery life was awful, but then I started thinking. My laptop has both a dedicated uh, GPU and an integrated one. So I had this idea. Uh, what if I disable the dedicated GPU and switch it fully to the integrated one? That way I can hopefully improve the battery life too. And I found out that on my machine I could actually disable the dedicated GPU from the BIOS. I just have to open the BIOS uh, go down to the options and there is literally the options to disable the RTX and now the laptop runs on the integrated GPU and I've got like 6 gigs of RAM usable RAM uh, instead of 8 because 2 gigs are for the integrated GPU and I tested it on Windows first and the battery life nearly doubled from 50 minutes it was like 2 hours 2 hours and 30 minutes if it's this good with Windows Imagine how far I can push it with Linux. And here it is my laptop, looking super cool with that web core customization. And the battery now lasts up to six hours when I'm just doing web browsing and low brightness, of course. I also decided to put the screen from 120 Hz to 60 Hz to save uh, to save battery life even on, on the screen. However, let's start from the beginning. I finally had a laptop that could do exactly what I wanted. Something with decent battery life, good enough for web browsing, but also flexible enough to let me play around with the terminal, downloading stuff, try more niche things. Niche things? I don't know how to say that. However, that kind of stuff that's harder to do on macOS or Windows. And I could do all that while still having the exact look and feel I want. I didn't mention it before, but last year I actually tried doing something similar on my MacBook Air M2. I had installed Linux on it to try out uh, Fruity Guerrero customization. You know, last year Fruity Guerrero had just started blowing up and it was still a pretty niche thing. And I specifically wanted that 
Windows Vista look to do everything I mentioned earlier. Plus, I had this video project in mind where I wanted to showcase Windows Vista in a very specific context, but in the end I had to remove Linux and go back to Mac OS. The thing is, Fruity Girl Aero eventually started to feel a bit boring. Same images, same music, always that same transparent glass effect, and yeah, I know this might sound a bit pretentious, but it also became too mainstream. Please don't hate me for saying that I stopped liking something just because it got popular, uh, but honestly, that's kind of what happened. Over time, I discovered a new aesthetic, one that unfortunately doesn't even have a proper name. The closest label I've found is Webcore. But even that doesn't really capture it, and I'll admit it's going to be hard to describe it. So let's just start with this image. This photo was uploaded to DeviantArt back in 2006. It shows a slightly different version of Windows XP, with uh, Serial Experiments Lane style. One of the first thing you'll notice is the way light and shadows work in the design. There's often a faint highlight line running throughout the middle of the Windows decorations and the taskbar, and that's just one element that helps describe this aesthetic. It feels like it sits um, somewhere in between Windows 98, Windows XP and Fruity Girl Aero. Fruity Girl Aero. And everything connected to those eras. It's something right in between, you know? And honestly, I'm probably showing you a bunch of images right now uh, because I don't even know how to describe it properly. It's that very specific corner of the web, that exact moment in tech history. But sadly, there's no real name for it. There's literally no name to describe this aesthetic. Um, so I'm just going to call it Webcore, even if that's not his real name. Oh, and there are a few other things that really remind me of this aesthetic. Some anime, for example, uh, like Welcome to the NHK, Stains Gate, and of course Serial Experiments Lane. There was also another one too, kind of like NHK, but with old film cameras. I don't really remember the name of it. However, there's no team out there that truly captures this uh, style, so I had to build it from scratch. And seriously, if you go looking throughout the available themes, um, you won't find these uh, specific aesthetics anywhere. I thought, alright, I'll, I'll need to learn how to build themes, but where do I even start? Looking throughout Unix P, I noticed that a lot of those beautiful setups people share are built using Hyperland. And Hyperland actually looked like a great choice for my laptop, super lightweight compared to full desktop environments. The only catch, you have to pretty much build everything yourself, adding each part manually. But honestly, I was fine with that. The real issues was this, even if I managed to customize the taskbar like the waybar, um, I still wouldn't be able to create proper Windows decorations. And for this kind of aesthetics, Windows decorations are essential. But Hyperland doesn't let you make Windows decorations. I'm a total beginner, so if I'm saying something wrong, tell me in the comments. I'm a beginner in this. But unfortunately, with the Hyperland, I couldn't find any way to do that specifically the Windows decorations. So my only options was to go back to a traditional Linux desktop uh, environment. Uh, in the end, I went with the Fedora 42 KDE Plasma. So I started digging around, looking at what teams were available. In the official store, besides the usual Fruity Guerrero teams, there were just a few XP-inspired teams. And honestly, only a couple of them were halfway decent. One of the better ones was this Windows XP team made by the same person who also created Exposed Green and Exposed Metallic, I think? I don't remember the exact name. However, I had an idea. Since I couldn't find a way to create a team entirely from scratch, why not just take one of those teams and modify it? So I started looking into how to edit an existing team, like Exposed Green, and I found out that the team uses a bunch of uh, .svg files, which you can actually open and edit using Inkscape. Inside the customization folder, you can open those SVG files and completely redesign them, the layout, the colors, 
you can you can just remade them from scratch with ink space inkscape sorry <laughs> so i actually redesigned everything from scratch going for a full-on lane inspired look i made it all in purples and magentas i added that uh, highlight line in the middle and i redrew and recolored every part of the team's assets and here it is this is my team but some things were still missing i made the taskbar narrower in the center just because i liked that look better i still needed some widget uh, some extra elements to complete it you know i also wanted to add the maxwell cat widget the one where he spins around in a loop uh, but i totally forgot <laughs> there was also this uh, windows vista style clock widget with the pink monster on it and it was perfect for the look i was going for the problem was that installing it in the easy way didn't work it literally kept throwing errors even when i tried installing it manually by following the instructions it still wouldn't run so i had to dig into the files and the widget code uh, to figure out what was wrong with the code of the widget and it turns out that uh, the main code of the widget uh, had some not good written parts that i just fix it i changed the code lines with the help of gpt i got a lot of help from gpt to do all of this because i'm not exactly a coding expert but with some help i got it working again it was amazing i i fixed that widget it was really amazing however i still wanted something more i had seen this image on the subreddit and really wanted to recreate that style i made a couple of terminal windows that displays system info like battery watt usage, CPU and RAM percentages, and a simplified fast fetch with a custom image of Docodemo. I, I never understood the, the real name of that cut. All made in Ashi art. Ashi or Aski? However, Aski art. The styling of that Ashi art was actually the hard part because the image I saw on the subreddit didn't look like a typical Aski art. The letters were really, really small, almost pixel sized. And so the question was, how do I recreate that kind of image? I tried everything, but the ashy image generated directly inside the terminal was too low detailed and too big and just didn't look like the one I saw in, on the subreddit. So I had an idea. What if I took a screenshot of the high detailed version in a large window and then just display that photo, that screenshot, inside the terminal in a smaller size. The problem is most of the terminals can't do that, except for one, Kitty. So that's exactly what I did. And they look so good. Everything matches the team perfectly. And now we have finally completed the customization. We are ready to post it on, on the subreddit. But before that, let's just talk about the battery life. So just the fact that Linux is way lighter than Windows already makes the system much faster. Guys, it's incredibly faster and it, it, it only have 6 gigs of RAM and it is 2 times faster than my main PC with 32 gigs of RAM. It's incredible. My laptop doesn't even have a, a dedicated GPU anymore, at least. On top of that, I downlocked the CPU to improve battery life even more and I used a program called TLP uh, which lets you tweak pretty much everything uh, to make your battery last as long as possible like you, you can change everything now if I really wanted to game on this laptop I could just re-enable the RTX from the BIOS plug the cable in and I'd be able to run pretty much any game but the cool thing is I can game even without it. To test Linux gaming outside of Steam, I downloaded Voices of the Void and run it using Vine. Uh, and yeah, Vine isn't the only tool. There's also Lutris, which works great for, I think, GOG games or even Epic games titles, I don't actually remember. And I didn't expect much from Voices of the Void, but to my surprise, it ran in full HD at 60 FPS super smooth um, and that was just with the integrated gpu guys six and six gigs of ram and it was not even supposed to work on linux that is only a windows game i just used wine to run a windows application and it ran great 
it really ran great and it still played perfectly on battery. Then I tried something on Steam, uh, I installed Proton GE and played uh, Anna Dream Barbecue and again full HD, high settings, battery smooth. Sure, these aren't super heavy games, but with a few tweaks like on the Steam Deck, even bigger titles can work. And honestly, uh, I, I just love doing this. I, I love getting things to run that shouldn't run well. It's such a fun challenge to do. And with all that, we've officially brought this laptop back to life. I also posted the team on Reddit, and I think it's at 57 upvotes now. However, I've been seriously thinking about switching completely to Linux, uh, even on my main desktop. I've been looking into Nobara OS since it comes pre-reload with all the drivers, Nvidia drivers and, and tools you'd want as a gamer or content creator. Um, the only thing is it's maintained by a small team, so it might not be as stable as Fedora, but I'm, I'm not an expert on this, so I don't actually know. And let me know what you think. If you have a name for this aesthetic, I'd love to hear it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment or go, go follow me on Twitter or, or Instagram. There's the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.